Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my Call of the Wild movie review. I saw this movie a couple weeks ago in the theaters, and um, if I had to describe this movie in one word, it, it actually would be redone. I've, I feel like I've seen this story before of the, the dog that goes on the journey, and, and I think I had, to, I had to read Call of the Wild, I believe, when I was like in fifth grade or, or fourth grade or something like that, or maybe it was middle school. Uh, I remembered very little of it. I never did well when I was forced to read something. I just felt like, uh, I don't really want to read this. And it was like, yeah, it's, it's just kind of like a pain. Um, but um, this movie, you know you know what, more, more than anything, what, the one word, it, it shouldn't be that. The movie is generic. It's a very generic movie. Um, this story, uh, I've seen it before. It wasn't a bad movie. I didn't mind the CGI dog. If I had to rate this on the Star Shredder scale, it would be a 55 out of 100. Harrison Ford was good in this movie. Um, and, and it's got some endearing, touching moments. There's there's a couple of loose ends that I never like. He, he joins a sled dog team, and then like halfway through the movie, they disappear. Um, and they literally say, oh, they ran off. And then you never know what happened. Did they die? I don't know. And you know, you know, he has like an alpha, an alpha male thing with another dog, and I guess that dog runs away. Um, you have a very cartoonish kind of a villain. Um, one one thing that did fascinate me about this is the writer, uh, the or the director of this movie is um, is Chris Sanders, and he's been he's more known I think as being a writer. He this guy, listen, he's, he did Lilo and Stitch, he did How to Train Your Dragon, he did The Crudes, and he did Mulan. So this guy's written a lot of good. I I I like actually I never saw the own Stitch, but the other th uh well or Mulan, but How to Train Your Dragon and the Crudes I really liked, especially How to Train Your Dragon. That was a, that's a really strong animated property, um, and um, so he's he does a lot in the uh, family uh, uh, family genre. This is a great family film. Um, I, I, yeah, this is this does. Uh, it it really felt like those old Disney movies that you would see like on ABC, like the the, the Wonderful World of Disney type stuff. Um, and and it does kind of make you feel warm inside. Um, it is endearing, but it's just very generic. Um, I don't ever need to see it again. Um, you know, I'm not gonna win any awards. Um, but but I enjoy it. I I enjoyed it. Um. Harrison Ford was good. This guy Omar o Omar Sy is in the first part, uh, first third of the movie, first act or maybe second act. But I think I guess it's the second half of the second act, right? Is that right? Yeah, the second act kind of is divided in two halves. When he's a sled dog, and then when Harrison Ford comes along. And that first act is kind of him in the city, running everything uh, amok. Omar Sy actually played Bishop. In, in the X-Men Days of Future Past. I had to look him up because I, I, I couldn't remember where, I, where I'd seen him. But um, this is a good matinee, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon family film. Um, I give it a 55 out of 100. And I, I, I would just have to call it what it is. It's generic. But I liked it. Um, I also, I think I've seen another movie. Maybe, maybe it was a Disney movie called uh, Call of the Wild, based on the same uh, uh, book. Anyways, let me know what you guys thought. Leave your comments below, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Okay, bye.